These poems are dedicated to all those whose lives have been spent in bringing peace to this planet. Wherever you are, I bow my head. May peace be on this earth. We are all united with the thread of love. May each one of us realize the garland of life. Chemistry is life. I woke up this morning and felt ever so blessed. Miracles are all around us. You would think that humanity would take care of their own chemistry kit. Just think, this is the only body you get. Most diseases are caused by the unhealthy options we take in life. We never think about the consequences until it's too late. I don't know why this is not taught in schools. I feel so blessed that my twin brother and I learned this over 50 years ago. Both my dad and grandfather died way before their time. I remember coming back from India 50 years ago. My mom sent me to have a checkup with our family doctor. He smoked a cigar in the room while talking to me. When he learned I was a vegetarian, he said I was going to die within one year. And I told him in India over a billion people are vegetarian. Unfortunately, he died within a year. I love telling the CEO of a software company that I worked for shortly. They develop software for heart surgeons. One day we were talking and I asked him why preventative medicine is not mainstream. He looked me right in the eye and said that would never happen. People don't want to take responsibility for their actions. <laughs> they come to us to get healed. Wow, having heart surgery is the answer. It, it could have been prevented. Common sense is uncommon. We spend most of our lives swimming upstream and wonder why life is so stressful. The wise man turns around and lets the river carry him downstream. It's so much easier when we do this. Learn to marvel at the miracle of this life while you are alive. The day you die, you will realize what a miracle it was to be alive. Wow, wow, wow. If you stretch the DNA in one cell all the way out, it would be about two millimeters long. And all the DNA in all your cells put together would be about twice the, the diameter of the solar system. Wow, wow, and wow. Bacteria cells. The average human body carries 10 times more bacteria cells than human cells. We were always taught always to wash our hands and spray our countertops. Yet, we are a walking petri dish. 
Once again, there are 10 times more bacteria cells in your body than human cells. For example, bacteria produces chemicals that help us harness energy and nutrients from our food. Germ-free rodents have to consume <coughs> nearly a third more calories than normal rodents to maintain their body weight. And when the same animals were later given a dose of bacteria, their body fat levels spiked even though <coughs> they didn't eat any more than they had before. Gut bacteria are also very important <coughs> for maintaining immunity. eight times as many atoms. There are eight times as many atoms in a teaspoon of water as there are teaspoons of water in the Atlantic Ocean. A teaspoon of water, about 5 ml, contains 2 to the 1,023 water molecules, but each water molecule is comprised of three atoms two hydrogen atoms, and one of oxygen. Move over if you lay down end to end each water molecule from a teaspoon down end to end. You end up with a length of 50 billion kilometers, 10 times the width of our solar system. ZME Science. You can't taste food without saliva. You can't taste food without saliva. In order for food to have taste, chemicals from the food must first dissolve in saliva. It's only once they've been dissolved in a liquid that the chemicals can be detected by receptors on taste buds. During this process, some salivary constitutes chemically interact with taste substances. For example, salivary, salivary buffers, e.g. biocarbonate ions, decrease the, the concentration of free oxygen ions, sour taste, and some salivary proteins may bind with bitter taste substances. Here's a quick science experiment to test this out. Get out a clean towel and rub your tongue dry. Then place some dry food on your tongue, one by one, such as a cookie, pretzel, or some other dry food. After this session, drink a glass of water and repeat. Do you feel a difference? The known universe 
is made up of 50 billion galaxies. The known universe is made up of 50 billion galaxies. There are between 1 billion and 1 trillion stars in a normal galaxy. In the Milky Way alone, there may be as many as 100 billion Earth-like planets still think we're alone. ZMF Science. About 1% of our genes come from plants. About 1% of our genes come from plants, fungi, and other germs. According to research from the University of Cambridge, humans have evolved with genes acquired from plants and fungi. But how'd they get there? Rather than a straightforward single branching tree, where genes are inherited from parents, scientists argue that sometimes foreign genes may spread by a process known as horizontal gene transfer. <coughs> for example, for, for instance, different species of bacteria often exchange genes via viruses. ZMF Science five times around the Earth. An entire lifetime, the average person walks the equivalent of five times around the world. The average moderate active person takes about 7,500 steps a day. If you maintain that daily average and live until 80 years of age, <clears throat> you'll have walked about 216,262,500 steps in your lifetime. Doing the math, the average person with the average stride living until 80 will walk a distance of around 110,000 miles, which is the equivalent of walking around five times around the Earth, right on the equator. Photon. It takes a photon up to 40,000 years to travel from the core of the sun to its surface, <coughs> but only 8 minutes to travel the rest of the way to Earth. A photon travels on average a particular distance before being briefly absorbed and released by an atom, which scatters it in a new random direction. To travel from the sun's core <coughs> to the sun's surface, 696,000 kilometers, so it can escape into space, a proton needs to make a huge number of drunken 
jumps. <laughs> the calculation is a little tricky, but the conclusion is that a photon takes many thousands and millions of years to drunkly wander to the surface of the sun. In a way, some of the light that reaches us today is energy produced millions of years ago. <coughs> Amazing. Z-M-E Science. Killer whales are actually dolphins. Despite their name, killer whales are orcas of the largest members of the dolphin family. Technically, orcas are also whales because dolphin eyes belong to the cetacean order within the tooth whale suborder. However, the term whale is typically reserved for baleen whales of the mystique dive suborder. The major feature, physical features that ensure orcas are dolphins is the presence of melon, a fatty deposit that assists the animals in echolocation and only exists in dolphins. Orcas are highly intelligent, highly adaptable, and able to communicate and coordinate hunting tactics. They are extremely fast swimmers and are been recorded at speeds of up to 54 kilometers per hour. A wild orca pup can cover over 160 kilometers a day, foraging and socializing. Octopuses. Octopuses have three hearts, nine brains, and blue blood. Two of the hearts work exclusively to move blood beyond the animal's gills, while the third keeps circulation flowing for the organs. When the octopus swims, the organ heart stops beating, which explains why these creatures prefer to crawl rather than swim, it exhausts them. An octopus also has nine brains. Well, sort of. There's one main brain where all the analysis and decision-making takes place and eight auxiliary brains, one at the base of each arm, that functions as preprocessors for all the information obtained by that arm. Two-thirds of an octopus's neurons reside in its arms, which can be independent to figure out how to open up a shellfish, for example, while the main brain is busy doing something else. Hard blood is red due to the fact that it contains iron-based hemoglobin to transport oxygen to cells. Octopuses, <coughs> on the other hand, uses the copper-based cyanoglobin, which performs the same function, albeit less efficiency. This makes octopuses have less stamina than you. Z-M-E, science. 